Hi friends, Tessa here with part three of the whale coloring. I want to talk to you guys about backgrounds and stepping out of your comfort zone and expanding your boundaries and on what you feel comfortable with and how you color and what you express yourself. I mostly as I keep reiterating and saying in every video I do um, since the whale picture that I mostly do mandal mandrels and mandalas. I don't do backgrounds. So for me to do a background, it's quite different and new. And, a, and it can, for me, it's a little scary to know that, oh my God, I have to color this background and how am I gonna color it? And oh my God, am I gonna use markers or am I gonna use colored pencils and I settled on doing this technique where you take uh, pastels or chalk pastels and whatever form you have them in and then you add um, a layer to your um, background and you blend it out for me I have a stick pastels and I just shaved off a little bit to make a fine powder with an exacto knife and then I apply it with a brush this I'm using a makeup brush I will sh uh, put all the if I can talk today again I always say that in my videos um, I will put all of the supplies and the tools that I'm using in this video in the description box below to let you guys know but so I use that uh, the makeup brush to uh, apply the pastels to the paper to give it a nice kind of gradient and then I don't have to kind of wear out my fingers or my thumb or my hand applying um, the pastels to the page I don't know um, personally I, I like this technique I don't know if it's the pastels that I'm using but I found that after a while they wouldn't uh, I could add more pastels to the page but it wasn't um, kind of some of the blotchiness of it it was still blotchy so I'm gonna work on my technique and I there is a learning curve with this but it's quite easy. You just shave off a little piece of uh, the chalk onto a separate paper, piece of paper or a, a pan or a plate on whatever you want, feel comfortable using. And if you can see at the bottom how fine I get the powder. And then I just kind of uh, rub it onto the paper. And the, here I wanted to add a little bit more darker blue to the bottom. And I think what my problem was is I was trying to avoid the whale. Um, without uh, getting too much um, background on it because I didn't want to get the whale uh, shaded too much with the blue so I avoided that because uh, you'll see later down in the video right here I use an eraser, I use an electric eraser and you doing that it would have lifted some of the color off of the page that I've already laid down on the whale and I didn't want to end up having to redo that part because I liked how that turned out so you'll see that I just take the eraser the electric eraser, and I use a Derwent uh, electric spinning eraser and I find that that works really well also I use a Derwent uh, small tip uh, racers. I'll show you all of them and I'll have all the links of like I said the supplies in the box description box below but uh, here we go the great reveal I'm gonna take off some more of the the white and chalk pastels really do erase really really well when you're using an eraser to take it off and I find that that works really well for me doing this technique where I just don't have to worry about masking or putting down any masking fluid or putting down anything so here's the big reveal ta-da and I took off all of the color or the chalk from the bottom coral pieces in the bottom uh, right and left side thanks for watching I hope you hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys in another video bye